guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. I love all things beauty, all things makeup. If you're into that kind of thing, I think you would really enjoy my content. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe to catch all of my future videos. In today's video, we're going to be trying out the brand new Pat McGrath Celestial Collection for Holiday. Um, I picked up the eyeshadow palette, picked up the highlighter, and then I picked up the blush and highlighter trio. So that is what we're going to be using to create this makeup look today. First off, I want to talk about the eyeshadow palette. This thing is massive. It is just like the one from last year. So I will grab that. This one from this year is a little bit thicker. Um, other than that, it's a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger in general. You can see the thickness here. Let's go ahead and look at these shadows. Okay, so here are the two palettes beside each other. Here is the one from this year. Here is the one from prior year. You can tell this one is more like purples and greens to me. This one is more of like pinks and bronzes. So here they are side by side. I will give you guys some swatches. The price point on this one is still, you know, the same as prior year, $78. And I will go ahead and get you guys some swatches. All right, I'm just going to go row by row. It's 18 eyeshadows, just like the one from the previous year. First off, you have a gorgeous shade, Saturn Sunset. Then you have Rose Venus. That one is gorgeous. And then you have got Gold Galaxy. Wow. Then we have got Noir Moon, and this one you can see in there, it is a black with a ton of like blue and green reflex in it. All right, next up is the shade I have all over my lid, which is right here, and you can see all of those pink reflex in that bronzy shade that is the shade bronze nova and then last up you've got a dark brown which is the shade nocturne and this while it swatched amazing i feel like it it did kind of stick in certain areas on my eye and was kind of hard to blend out so just something to note next row we've got galactic glow which I also have on I've got that on on my inner corners and right under my eyebrow and that shade just really shines as you can tell next up we have got sunrose amber which is a matte I've got that in my crease it blended out amazingly it feels super creamy then you have got lotus luxe which is nice like cranberry satin shade. This may be one of my favorite ones in the palette. This is Lunar Haze. Dear God, look at that shade. I must have still had a little bit of black on my finger, but yeah, you can see that purple is just as a yummy purple color. All right, next up we have got Electric which is a matte, like burgundy type shade. And then we have got Heavenly Body there. On the last row, I've got Bronze Eclipse. That would be such a pretty brown smoky eye. Then you have got Solar Flare actually was debating on using that color today but I figured I could use more shades if I used a lighter brown and then I've got Nirvana oh my god I want to do a look with that shade that is ridiculous all right 
Now we have got a very fall shade. This is Corrupt Copper. Lovely. And then you'll see these are a little bit like thick, of a thicker powder. You see that? Um, so I would say with this palette, I would probably just generally do my eyes first. Um, but yeah, this shade here is called Palladium. Oh, I really want to use that shade as well. I love like taupey shades like that. And then last up is this gorgeous green, which is Citrine Envy. And that is freaking stunning. Okay, so from the swatches, the standouts to me are this like mustardy color here, this green, this blue, and this shade here, this purple, what? And this shade here, that taupey color, I really, really love this color story and some of those like unique shades in here. Now, let me see if there are any that are similar between these two palettes. I'm going to test out these two yellows as well as... I think that's really about it that looks the same in here. I'll test out the browns beside each other and then there are like those kind of like taupey colors that look the same. I will test all of those out. All right so this is this year's shade. This is the year prior and I would say that this year's has got more of an orange to it, but those are similar. All right, so this is this year's brown, and this is the prior year. This one you can tell has got more red. All right, and then out of like the taupey type shades, this is the prior, or no, this is this year, and this is the prior year when you can tell this year's is definitely more of like a bronze vibe whereas this was kind of more gold definitely if you're interested in this year's color story it is very much enough different to justify purchasing it if you already had the prior year Okay, next up, let's talk about the blush palette. So here it is in its packaging. I love how small and compact this is. It's a cardboard packaging, but it feels like weighted. It feels nice. Love the outside. This is embossed. You can kind of feel this here. Um, it's got what it is right here on the front. And then you open it up to a mirror and then your two blush shades and your highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch of this. But I am just quickly going to show you the prior years. So this one you open up like this. I very much prefer the packaging on this year's compared to last year. This is so much easier to use. Um, but you can tell this highlighter is completely different than the ones that were in this palette here. And then I also like that the shade names on this are on the back of the palette. Whereas, you know, last year you had to keep this little insert to know what your shades were. All right, so I've got a Divine Rose Blush. This one is called desert orchard and then this highlighter here which is called golden nectar and those two together would be so pretty even if you mixed those two shades that would be really gorgeous all of those were super creamy swatched amazing i love the little embossed detailing here in these blushes. Normally these blushes themselves 
retail for $38 and you're getting this whole palette for $52. So I think that this is a really good deal. Okay, last up we have got this year's highlighter, which is this shade here. It is Lunar Nude and this retails for $60.00. Here is the shade there, lovely. Look at that embossment, like how just like rich does that look, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a swatch, but this is the prior year. This one was like a metal, like screw top component. And this one was in the shade Champagne Gold, but to me, this is like pink. Usually I leave this out on my desk and whenever I'm doing pink looks, I often reach for this. This is such a gorgeous formulated highlighter. Love, love this formulation. So when I saw her come out with one this year, I knew that I had to have it just because I know how good her formula is. And I actually prefer the packaging on this one so much more. I mean, this one is cool because it's like, it's different, right? But it's not that convenient when you actually think about it. Very heavy. You have to screw it off. This one does just like pop open. It is a plastic container. Um, and it's just easier to use. Now, I will say this, the fact that there is a sticker on there that says Pat McGrath, I think that's very cheap. She should have done... She could have done something better there for this to be 60 bucks, right? But I'm going to give you guys a swatch of this. There is Lunar Nude. Stunning. Look at that shine. Look at it. Woo! Now, I'm going to give you a swatch of the one from the prior year, which is Champagne Gold, right under it. You can see these are actually pretty similar but you can tell this one is definitely more of a pink and this one is more of like a champagne so it's different enough for me <laughs> all right guys so that is it as far as like the swatches of these products let's go ahead and see how they perform all right guys we are vibing today I cannot wait to put this makeup on I have been waiting for that highlighter to come in and I yeah, I was so ready to film this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit closer. All right, guys, we're just going to have to um, ignore what's going on over here. I don't know what's going on with that situation, but go ahead. I got this beautiful palette out. Okay, guys, so I was kind of feeling like I wanted to do something really bronzy today. It's been a while since I've done just like a bronze eye look. So I think I'm going to use this shade right here. It looks so pretty. This is the shade Bronze Nova. Pretty sure that's going to be the star of the show. Um, I think I'm going to start off and I'm going to put a little bit of this color here in the crease. And this shade is called Sunrose Amber. So, got some just on my blending brush here. I'm going to tap that off and put this right in the crease. And just like with our other eyeshadow tutorials, I'm just going to do one eye on camera and then I will catch up the other off of camera. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just peel off this sticker and I'm going to try to use this mirror. There we go. Y'all see all them brushes? That's every day. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do like a, like a brush video and just show you guys what kind of brushes like are my favorite that I use all the time. So I'm just gonna build this up just a little bit. I'm putting very little on my brush and just putting that basically right into the crease. And this brush is so big that it really just kind of does the work for me and blending all of that out. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wipe this brush off. And then you see around these edges right here, I'm gonna wipe this brush off and then I'm just gonna kind of blend along that area just to soften it up. 
All right, so now with the clean brush, you see how going in there with that clean brush, how it immediately just softened that up? That is exactly what we wanted. And now this is just like completely blended to like filth, right? That is exactly what I wanted. Now, before I do my brows, I always, whatever highlighter I'm using on my face, I always put that right under the brow and it just brings everything together. It adds a little bit of light. So that's something that you guys never see me do in these tutorials because I don't ever, like, I rarely do a whole face on this channel. Um, but that, that's what y'all miss seeing and it's a great trick. So pretty soon I'll probably do a full face um, just using some older products that I have that you guys probably have and could use too. But I recently got the Laura Lee. This was her birthday brush collection. I ordered this the day it came out. I ordered two and they only sent me one and that was I guess because they sold out and their inventory wasn't right when I was ordering. I don't know but I've had that for a while and I haven't used it yet because I wanted to use it on camera. I'm going to take a smaller little brush now. There was a tiny bit of kick up on here, um, but nothing extreme. Now, I think I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this dark shade over here. I may end up switching brushes, but I'm going to put that on my brush, tap that off, and... I will say that the mirror on this palette is like extremely, extremely good quality, which doesn't surprise me, you know, on her full size mothership palette, she's got the freaking like beveled mirrors. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not beveled, but it's, it's a good quality mirror for sure. It's very clear. Honestly, I'm not really liking how that is blending out. I'm going to go back into this brush, which I don't have any product on. Um, but I'm just going to kind of use that to blend that out into the crease. And that helped a whole lot. But yeah, that color is going on kind of weird. I'm going to take this like natural hair brush, packer brush from Morphe and I'm going to put this right here in the outer corner. I'm just gonna pack that color on. All right, now I just packed a little bit of that in the outer corner and then I think with what is left on my brush, I'm just gonna kinda deepen this crease up just a bit. That way it's going from like a dark to a light. Okay, you can see it looks a little bit messy right here. I don't really know what's up with that. I deepen that up. Okay, so that's what I wanted right there. See how this is like dark right here and then it's fading to that lighter brown. I take this brush again, nothing on it, and I'm just blending over that. All right, now I did a half cut crease in yesterday's video whenever I was filming, what was that? The Urban Decay Eternals palette tutorial, and I really like the way the look came out, so I'm gonna do that again today. I've got my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I am going to get Really, it could be like any type of brush. Um, but I've got this like little flat shader brush here. I'm going to just put a tiny, tiny bit of product on here. 
and this is what I'm going to do that cut crease with. All right, so just very carefully here. Just going to carve the lid out. And I'm only going to do that again like halfway. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because you're going to be putting shadow over this. This is just to kind of lay that foundation for the shape. And I'm just tapping, essentially. When I'm doing the crease part, I'm dragging my brush, and then for the rest of it, I'm really just patting this on so it's a nice like smooth layer if that makes sense i don't want it to look like all crumbly looking very smooth all right so that is that there i'm gonna let this dry for just a few seconds and then we will put on that bronze nova shade Okay, now what I'm going to do is go into this bronze Nova shade here, and I've just got like a flat packer brush, and I'm not going to tap my brush off because any of that, those glitter type particles, I don't know if you can see that, I want to push and drag that on my eyelid, so I'm going to basically just do that motion it's like a tap and pull it's not really as impactful as I thought it would be So this is like a bronze and it's got pink reflex in it. So that's kind of cool. All right. So there is that look there. I'm going to take just a small blender brush I'm just gonna kind of brush that crease i think what i'm gonna do is kind of go into both of these so i'm gonna take a dip in here dip in there and i'm gonna put this right into that crease And I don't think that that dark brown is like a good shade, in my opinion. See how it just kind of made that, like it just, wherever you put it, I feel like it just sticks. Like it does not blend out good at all. I don't like that shade. Haven't had any issues with any of the other shades I've used. But yeah, that's not... Definitely not like Pat McGrath quality. Might be like a good liner or I can see that being like a good eyebrow shade. But that's it. Yeah. I like this look. I just, it is that dark shade. You see how it's like sticking over here. It's stuck, like, right there. I, I don't know, guys. Now I feel like I need to add some more of that darkness just to kind of even it out.
So yeah, there we go. I mean, I keep blending and it is just, it's not really blending out. So I think that's like as good as we're gonna get it. Definitely not like a favorite, even that bronze, like in person, I will say you can see there are a ton, a ton of pink micro glues. I don't know if it's picking up on this camera, but in person, you can see it. That bronze shade is like really special. Um, really like that a lot. Love that crease shade worked really, really, really good as well. It is just that freaking dark brown. I feel like dark brown is not like a hard shade to get right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. All right, I've got just a makeup wipe and I've got it folded. So I've got a nice like straight line over here. I'm gonna connect this to where my brow will end. And I'm just bringing that up and you can see everything that we got off of our face. Now I'm gonna turn it the other way and I'm gonna do it one more time. All right, so this is what the eye is looking like. Doesn't look that bad now that we've cleaned it up, but I will say me looking at it, I can see where this is not like blended the best, specifically like in this area here. But um, yeah, that's just like, I'm nitpicking, but it's a $78 palette, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to catch up the other eye. I'm gonna put on most of my face makeup and then we'll be back for the lower lash line, blush palette and highlighter. I've got the rest of my makeup pretty much done. For my base, I've got on the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydro Foundation in the shade 1.0. I've got on my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in 08 Light. So, running so low on that. And then for my powder, I set everything down with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Powder Foundation. And then I put a tiny bit just on the forehead and the tip of my nose and my chin. And a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder in the shade Starlet. Um, I love this powder. It's a baked formula. It's so smooth. And then for, let's see... For brows, I used my Anastasia Brow Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And then for bronzer, I pulled out the NARS one. This is from the Summer Solstice Collection. And this is the highlighter. Ugh, I hate NARS packaging is so hard to open. Here it is here. So you've got your glow powder, like your highlighter, and then the bronzer here. So I just mixed those two today. All right, I think the first thing I'm going to do is finish up the lower lash line. So I think I'm going to go in with that shade that I did not like the best. But this shade here, this dark brown, it is called Nocturne. And I'm just going to go in with a little tiny angled brush. And I'm really going to tap that off. And pull you guys in a little closer. All right, I'm gonna put this as close to the lower lashes as I can. Just starting at the outer corner and dragging that in. I'm gonna go in for some more product, tap that off and not gonna bring it too far in. Probably about right there is where I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to take this little pencil brush and I'm going to go back into that main crease shade we were using, which is this one right here. That is in the shade Sunrose Amber. Tap that off. 
and I'm going to put this just on the outer edges. And I am bringing this all the way in. But basically this is just to smoke out that darker color. Same thing as what we got going on up here. So I'm not dipping into any extra product. I'm just continuing to run this along the lower lashes until I'm happy with the blend. I think right about there is where I'm going to stop. Now, this shade here I used under the brow. Actually, this shade, it is called Galactic Glow. And that's the same shade that I'm going to put on the inner corner as well. So, I'm going to tap this off. And I'm going to put this right there in the inner corner. I'm going to connect it to the top just a smidge. I'm going to go back in, tap it off, and with this, I'm going to put that right there. Okay. I'm going to catch up the other eye, put on my mascara, and then we'll come back for the highlighter and the blush palette. Alright guys, so this is the completed eye look. I love everything completed. I just threw on my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I think it completed everything really nicely. We are going to go ahead and move on to the highlighter. So this is the Skin Fetish. Um, Hold on. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. And this is in the shade lunar nude now i did get the one that she released last year as well so we'll kind of look at that for comparison but love the outer packaging this is that packaging where it shows literally every single fingerprint i just got it out there's already fingerprints all over it um it looks like is this a sticker it looks like a sticker on here but i don't feel anything so I don't know but I do like the fact that this is not like extremely heavy so compared to the one last year this one is like legit like metal like this thing probably weighs I would say over I don't know I don't know how much this weighs but it is it's weighted this one it's nice like it's a nice component but it's not metal this is like a plastic um, so I kind of like that better, honestly. Oh, and look at this. There we go. So yeah, now I can feel that sticker. So yeah, I mean, this is a $60 highlighter. Why is this just like a sticker that's on there? I don't really like that. I think for 60 bucks, that should, should have been like etched in there. Um, but yeah, so I love peeling these things off. All right, so here is the color here. Beautiful, look at that embossment in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just see what this is like. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and get this on our face, shall we? Go ahead and dip in here. That's gorgeous. She makes some of the best highlighters. Like I said, this one that she made the previous year literally sits on my desk. Um, it never, ever leaves. This just like melts in. Like, it blends so seamlessly. I freaking love that. That's, like, one of my pet peeves about highlighters. I don't like them looking like a powder. I don't like them looking 
thick on my face. I just want it to blend in seamlessly. I'm gonna put some of this on my shoulder as well. Today is supposed to be like the last hot day here. So it's in the 80s. Um, I think the high is supposed to be like 85, 86, something like that. And then after that, it's supposed to be like 70s. So figured this would be a good day to wear this. And let's see. I don't really think I need any more. I'm just going to very like just hat in this and put this up here but yeah I love that shade so pretty okay next up is the blush palette and I've never tried a blush from Pat McGrath so I am interested to try that this is the packaging on the blush Go ahead and take this out. Now this is called the Divine Blush and Glow Trio and I have mine in the shade Galactic Sun. There was two versions of this palette. There was a light and a dark and then something to mention is that there is only this one um, highlighter shade but these palettes do come with a highlighter as well. So here is what this looks like. You get two blushes and a highlighter these blushes are, this is Divine Rose, this is Desert Orchid, Orchid, and this is Golden Nectar. So I think that I am going to go into this blush shade, obviously. Nice peachy color. And I guess I'm going to go into the brush that I always use just so I will be you know, familiar with it. And we're going to pop this on right here. I love, I love peachy and plummy blushes. So this was like the perfect duo. The other one is like a little bit more of like poppy type shades. So like brighter, more pigmented, probably deeper type shades. Probably show up really good on like darker skin. But yeah. I am like a nude blush girl, so I had to have this one. And I think in general, this palette will work better for people with lighter skin. Okay, so there was essentially like no kick up on this blush, on this little trio here. Um, and you can tell this one has got the beautiful embossment as well. Blended out super easily. Pigmented blush. Love it. There's nothing to complain about there. All right. Now, like a finishing, finishing touch that I usually do is I'll take a big blending brush and just kind of blend the perimeters. Well, actually, kind of just my whole face. There we go. I'm going to set everything down. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. The best setting spray that I have used. Alright, I put on my NYX Nude Suede Shoes Lip Liner. And I figured we could finish it off with a Pat McGrath lipstick. Why not, right? So this is the Blitz Trance Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude Romantic. And I recently posted a lip swatch video with all of my Pat McGrath lipsticks. You'll have to check that out. Such a gorgeous color. But yeah, this is that shade here. This is the completed makeup look. I really like it. Um, some things performed, of course, better than others. Let's kind of run through everything. So we have got, I'm going to start off with the face products. So we've got the blush and highlighter trio. I love this. One of her blushes retails for $38. Here you're getting two blushes and a highlighter for $52. 
um, nice. It is cardboard packaging, but it feels nice. You know what I mean? This is like, it's a sticker, but it's like embossed. I don't know. Very nice touches. Love the packaging. I love the embossment on here. I think all three of these shades are beautiful. And then you also, of course, have got your mirror. And this mirror doesn't look like as good of quality as the eyeshadow palette and the um, highlighter. But, you know, you do have a usable mirror in here. So, I think that this would probably be like my number one pick out of this collection. If I only had to get, or if I only could get one thing, I would pick this. Secondly, probably the highlighter. Actually, I love her highlighters and this one is exactly the same. This will, again, probably be one that just sits out on my desk and I pull for all the time. Um, that's how her one from the prior year was. It is just really, really good quality, guys. And um, I do like that this one actually isn't as heavy. I don't love this packaging. I don't like things that look dirty even when they're not, which this one will. You see all these, hand, these fingerprints just from today. Um, but I do really like this highlighter as well. And then her eyeshadow palette. So she has got some beautiful eyeshadows. Some of hers in here are just extremely, extremely nice. So I love this green. I love this taupey color here. This is like a light metallic purple love this like mustardy shade here the one that we put on today has got a ton of pink reflex in it i think it is very special but if i'm being honest with myself this palette is kind of annoying to use um i would much prefer if it didn't have these little strings honestly and i could just fold this mirror back and hold it like that um but I will get some use out of this palette, but I think I'm gonna have to like consciously think to grab it just because it is a bigger palette. And in general, I'm reaching for things that are, you know, kind of like smaller, just easier to handle. So while I do love her eyeshadows, um, this one, like I said, you know, it didn't perform the best. Like I really had to sit there and work with it. I do think that would be a gorgeous um, eyebrow powder though. Um, and it worked good as like a liner as well. It just didn't work great blending it out. Um, you don't have a ton of mattes in this palette. So this is a matte. You've got one, two, three, four matte shades in this whole palette here. So this is probably gonna be more of like a companion type palette and for $78. Um, you'll just have to weigh it for you, but this will probably be a palette, honestly, that if she comes out with one of these every year, I will probably pick it up every year just because her shadows in general are like supreme. She makes some great, great powder formulations that just glide on and look like your skin. Um, but yeah, that is my thoughts. That is how I would rank these products. Um, everything in general performed pretty good. So yeah, that is my thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.